Welcome back, everybody, to the third of the Ruler Challenges. Now, this will be the final Ruler Challenge we're doing for quite some time, and we've only got two days to do it in because I've been given permission and a sneak preview of one of the biggest, coolest CK2 mods I've seen in a very, very, very long time. It's going to be massive, so we've got two days before the, the, the sort of release, the pre-release of that goes out, so... We're going to be taking a look at this guy to start off with. And then after that, we'll dive back into some just crazy CK2 stuff. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to say anything. I don't think I'm allowed to say anything. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to spoil it. I want you guys to see it for yourselves. So absolutely stay tuned for that. We've got this guy to reacquaint me with some of the decadence, the, the Islamic mechanics that I may face in that mod that we're going to, and obviously any future mods as well. Via the medium of a Monarch's Journey challenge. Oh, another thing as well. That that CK2, that crazy Paradox sale that Humble have got going on is still going. It's going on for the next week. So I'll stick my link in the uh, in the comment section as I am wont to do. So we are playing as High Chief. Uh, excuse me. High, high, oh, uh, uh, high Chief. Sorry, hang on. Let me see if I can decode it here. Uh, Saad Mordecai of the Aldawa High Chiefdom. Uh, d during his lifetime, so oh fuck that. Uh, what do we need? We need two Jewish chancellors, but obviously, as as it goes along here, I imagine the gold level will require filling. Say, for example, the entire council with Jewish members. We have vassals with sixty plus opinions. Actually, quite easy to pull off. That one's I'm really not bothered about at all. Kills and bonus points sounds like the one we're going to have to actively pursue as this guy. It sounds like it could be a fairly safe, easy challenge that we can crack out in a couple of days. We're obviously going to play an Iron Man. I am actually going to disable. Um, Gender equality, if that is a, a, an Iron Man rule that you're allowed to disable. I didn't think you're actually allowed to change it. But someone pointed out that I might have adjusted it without realizing. Um, what does that count as? Like, I have no idea. Uh, uh, su succession? Various? Does it count as various? Ah, uh, there we go. Right, we're going to go historical with those from now on. It apparently doesn't affect the Iron Man, which I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was enabled because I thought disabling it would, would disable Iron Man. Because obviously that makes the game significantly easier. But no. All right, let's do it. Mordecai, show me what you've got. We're going to have to get familiarized with a lot more mechanics that I've obviously previously not really done a huge amount with. What do we have then? We are the ruler of the Duchy of Baghdad. That's a fantastic duchy to have. Oh, we're secretly Jewish. Interesting. So with Sonny secretly Jewish, we are a renowned physician, ambitious, patient, brave, and Midas touch. We're an absolutely fantastic character. We are, however, 49 years old without any family members. Holy shit. So, immediately then, who's our liege? Okay. It's Kagan Ar Argan of, uh, of the Mongol Horde, basically. Wow, okay. That, that makes our life incredibly strange. Those, in turn, are a suzerain of the Mongol Protector General. This is a strange layout in the world. We don't know to play this later start date in CK2. We ourselves are Persian, and again, we are Sunni religion and secretly Jewish as well. Well, why, how the hell do we do this then? So, right, yeah, there you go. Four Jewish... Uh, well, not practicing Judaism yourself, have a council consist of openly Jewish people. Must be capable of their job with a minimum of 10 in each attribute related to their position. This seems really, really easy to pull off. That continues with any member of the re featured ruler's dynasty. So that one is actually very straightforward. What about this one? Be on good terms, 60 plus opinion with 12 vassals. That one again isn't too difficult. What do you mean vassals? Openly worshipping another religion than your own. Ah, I like that. Featured ruler's dynasty again, so we don't have to pull up with this guy. What about this one? Playing as the featured ruler. Continue to practice Judaism and secrecy while pretending to be Sunni Muslim. Kill as many Muslim religion and Mongol culture characters as possible. Duel, assassinate, or execute. Mongol Muslims were two points. I see. So you can kill one or the other, but you do get two points for killing both. Mongol Muslims were two points. Kills where your complicity is hidden is worth another one point. Ah. And we must not change religion. The challenge is only accomplishable within the featured ruler during their lifetime. So Mongol Muslims, if we want to tick that off and we get away with it, we only have to kill like six of them. That's our minimum potential to tick that one off. Right, okay. That sounds very tricky. Um, what's our intrigue? Three. Fucking hell. Wow, that one does sound quite hard then, huh? Um, whoo. Okay, personal combat is 28. Yikes, that is a tricky one. Um... Mongol uh, rulers, I would assume, right? Uh, but as enemies disagree with this religion, let's turn the tables. Plays the future ruler, practice while pretending to be a Sunni Muslim, kill as many Muslim religion and Mongol culture characters as possible. Hang on. You don't have to 
Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to... They don't have to be landed. Well, that's very easy then. We just invite a bunch of characters to our court who are Mongol culture, Muslim religion. Mass imprison them. Mass execute. Tick it off. Is that gaming the system? Absolutely it is. 100% it is. But that seems incredibly difficult when they've given us a guy with three marshal and absolutely no personal combat to speak of. Um... Sure, let's do it then. Oh, what about potentially just immediately assassinating our liege 50? Okay, so let's take a look at our liege's vassals and see who we can potentially assassinate amongst this list. Um, plot to kill, 25%. Oh no, 22%. 15%. Fuck, this seems like it's going to be quite difficult here. Wow. Um, 30%. 16%. Yeah, there's not going to be an easy inroad from assassination by the looks of it. So I'm thinking we'll just scum this one up, get this one off the table immediately. What about that guy? Uh, that's not right at all. None of that's right. Patriarch of the East. There's no wonder we can kill that dude. Um, right. So, again, let's scum this up as much as possible. Let's just go. If we say my religion, that will sort to Sunny. Join court, yes. Imprison all these people. And then we're looking for Mongol culture specifically, aren't we? This is very scummy, but it will work. And I don't like doing it. We're going to accrue a shitload of tyranny, like an absolutely staggering amount of tyranny. But it will tip this challenge off immediately. Uh, excuse me. Let's try that. Sorry, my keyboard shortcuts weren't working there. Right, so invite to court, invite to court, invite to court. So you only need to kill six of these, bear in mind. So it's only going to be six loads of tyranny, assuming we're able to pull it off. Now, what we've got to do is not mess up imprisoning them and gain any, any tyranny. Because otherwise, this strategy then becomes impossible to fulfill. Because people will see us as a tyrant. They won't want to join our court. Okay. Let's see if this works to start off with then. So in prison, 62% will lower all opinion by 10, don't forget. Yikes. This is a bad idea, but I think we will go for it. Chosen of Ashoka, we don't really care about that too much. All right, most excellent. Let's make sure everyone's in our court first. The Bulls of Rishaba, followers of Arjuna. Okay, so all the Indian faiths are getting their holy orders there. What we want to do is take our marshal, stick it in our capital next. Uh, so we want to go for, are you our best marshal? Yes, unfortunately. Let's see if we can invite a slightly better character first. So, better marshal, better arrest chance, essentially. Uh, 14 is the highest we got. Hang on, let's go any. Uh, 14 is still the highest we got. Okay, fair enough then. Let's get you. Suppress revolts. Arrest chance goes up by 14%. This is a really, really, really risky strategy. Okay. Um, get imprisoned. 100%. One down. 39%. Bad, bad start. Really bad start. Prison. 37%. Uh, 35%. We are not getting very lucky here. We need five. We've got three. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one. One more. Wait, wait, wait. We needed six, didn't we? That's another one. Last one. Come on. We've got to succeed. <gasps> I think we've actually done it. Uh, so I think that one's immediately ticked off then. Six prisoners. Mass execute. Boom. Done. Silver? No, no, no. I, I think you misunderstand. Oh, we didn't get away with it. Uh, my mass there was me thinking, hang on. <laughs> It's, it's like four points ahead. It's three points ahead if we get away with it. But of course, we didn't get away with it. Okay. Um, so we're now probably fairly hated, aren't we? Bollocks. We got very unlucky with that one. That was that was a, that was a poor play. All right. Um, are you Mongol? You're Mongol. Again, it doesn't really matter. They, they could just be sunny characters as well. People still want to join my court. Are you serious? Well, that's going to make this fucking easy. Okay. Um, so we say, my religion, that's the important thing here. I think we can just assassinate just a load of people and get that one ticked off. Again, is this in the spirit of things? No, but it's a challenge. We're playing on very hard. There's still Mongolians who want to join our court as well. You people are insane. You people are insane. Hey, this guy that's just mass murdered a load of our people. Let's, uh, let's go join him, huh? Fine. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. 100%. Get him fucking prison. Next. Be imprisoned. Oh, two more. Okay, I think that actually finishes that challenge right. Speed run time. Boom. Gold. Done. Okay, next. <laughs> Is that the intended strategy? Nah. Nah, absolutely not. Okay, be on good terms. Six deep in it. That's not going to fucking happen. And one of us will not practice in Judaism. Have your ch council consist of openly Jewish people. That might be easy to do as well. Let's reset all. It really just depends on how the game has generated characters here. So we say, not my religion. Sort by religion. Uh, What are we up to? A... B, C, lots of C's. Uh, that's, that's an H. H, I, J. Here we are. That's what we're looking for. Uh, join corp. I should have maybe said that. Oh, God. We might have made a lot of enemies here. How long till that tyranny fucks off? Uh, we've got to wait 30 years. <laughs> All right. So, 
now I'm going to change tactics. We're going to go rulership. We're going to try and make these people like us a lot. And then we might do a, a character swap here. Uh, become the king of Iraq. You know what? You can keep dreaming there, chief. Let's have a kid. Uh, are you all right with me? She, she actually doesn't mind, despite the fact that we did just wipe out a bunch of people of her culture. Specifically because they're of her culture. That's fine. It was a little bit of ethnic cleansing. Actually, he said no. That's far enough. Um, right, let's try it again. Then. Let's just arrange marriage between someone perhaps in our court instead. 16. Hates us. Whatever. Whatever. Will we take concubines as well, though, can't we? No? Secondary wives. Ah, okay. Here you go. This is, this is why we're doing this, so I can get used to these mechanics again. Right, so you and then you. Losing a lot of prestige. Doesn't matter. I mean, what's it going to do? Lower opinion? Who really cares? Um, right, now we... How do, I, how do I fix this? For my sins. Forgive me. Forgive me for my sins. This was my bad. Deeply honored. Thank you. I appreciate that one a lot, my friend. Have feasts as much as possible. I think we've even got feasts, have we? Oh, shit. Um, okay. Now we live our lives and hope we don't get assassinated. And if we do get assassinated, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that will play into account is being a predecessor. But after a couple of generations, that won't make any difference anyway. So, shit. 160 opinion with everyone straight off the bat. Although, we could go full North Korea mode here. Hang on. Courtiers? Not particularly bothered. Our liege still likes us. Sway our liege. We don't care about anyone else. Fuck them. Uh, can I revoke titles from people? Can we pass a law? Yes. Icta, we need 100 piety. May have just absolutely assassinated everyone. Okay, so if you're doing this challenge, you can do what I've done there, but make sure you change revoke title first. Um, that's very annoying. Although this guy, we are his heir. He's now in rebellion. Fine, makes my life a little bit easier. All we've got to do is imprison him and kill him, right? And we're done. Easy, easy stuff. Get together. Let's come and stop this guy immediately. Right, merge and good luck. This is going to be an interesting war, I think. Um, let's hop over there. Oh, two of our vassals went into rebellion. That's fantastic news. Stop right there. Let's get some decent commanders. Because I have no choice. Uh, yeah, I... No, no, no. I will not be blackmailed. Let him come as well. Dragon amulet. Fantastic stuff. Oh, here we go. I'll accept any injury or lose a trait brave. No. We'll take the black eye. Right. Hold still. This is going to be tricky. This is going to be really, really tricky. Um... So they're gunning for me from that direction. Are they going to reinforce? Kill him myself. We might die here. We're fine. We're actually okay. We've got another 1,000 coming in. Okay. The 3,000 came in, which we're not going to be able to beat. If we surrender, if we surrender to the guy that's quite tough, what happens then? Count's power and priest. I should have probably just let him have the count's power in hindsight. That was my bad. Right. You flee. What are we looking at? 1,000. Oh, they're fighting those guys accidental big brain plan. Actually, what I mean was that was intentional. What I wanted to do then was uh, end this rebellion instantly. Oh, that's not mine. That's fine. We're still on... Don't worry. We're still well on track to winning this here. They are going to take... Oh, God. If we get some better commanders, we can still win this battle too. Uh, join court. Yeah, come on. Okay, you'll do. Fine. Join me. You'll do as well. Join me. Can I maybe promote some commanders very, very quickly? We haven't got any money. Not a big deal. Let's also sort out the council. <laughs> he says optimistically. Okay, you collect some taxes. Let's get you training troops. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, perform statecraft for what it's worth. Probably won't make any fucking difference, but we'll give it a go. And then steal some tech from Rajasthan. That's also fine. Let's perform charity. Get some opinion back. To be fair, they are not a maximum morale. They've got almost equal troops to us. And they are very, very... What are they? Okay, it's desert. Sorry, I thought it was taking a river crossing. Okay. Um... This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a, an interesting battle, particularly when we are on very hard. If we weren't playing on very hard, I think we'd have this in the bag. <gasps> what a coincidence. A rebel immediately. Thank you. Join me. Join me. Join me. You. Oh, my God. The rebels have saved us. Is this luck? You could call it luck or you could call it absolute pure talent with this game. Whichever floats your boat, really. Right. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Better commanders are always welcome. Um, I'm kind of hoping we can eventually retire from leading troops because that's we, we've had that happen too many times now. Right. So, team, that doesn't matter. Okay, are those my enemies or are they enemies against our realm? They're just generic rebels. Okay. Capital of this guy is done. Okay, that's fine. Swe Don't worry about that. That's not relevant. <laughs> that, is, that is to do with the jihad, which we are not interested in dealing with right now. 53%, you bitch. Um, as this is stuff too. Baghdadi and Revolt. Yeah, let's go and put those armies down. Mr. Streamer, he's immortal. <laughs> yeah, alright. Oh, what, you want to fucking summon the council? 
Oh, he's hacked the game. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Iron Man mode. Oh, my theory is falling apart. I'd like to point out that's literally every single ruler challenge we have had matters of life and death. Like I said, that's the true. This is a true challenge. Paradox have heard me. Summon the council. I will be immortal. You will not. You will never get this. I should not have done that attack, by the way. Uh right. Is this finally the characters to become immortal? We've got the same diplomacy and martial, so it really comes down to whichever one of these guys is more talented. Send him. Fuck, we actually lost that one. Bollocks, my bad. I was getting a little bit greedy there. All right, let our troops reinforce a tad. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, actually. That's, that's kind of very counterproductive. Uh, can we do anything for money? Uh, have we got any way to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go. Fuck. This is bad. We had that in the bag there for a second, but now we're fucked. Ah, oh, shit. Got distracted by the mountains of life and death. Okay, well, I could just surrender, uh, and we would abdicate. Hey, we've earned the rank. Uh, we earned an achievement for that? Really? For vassals with... Vassals are openly worshipping another religion to your own. We're Jewish? What the fuck is happening? The Mongol revolt? <laughs> okay. This has gone a little bit fucky, I will admit. I wonder if he can still get immortal. I wonder if in the background this guy's just going to become immortal. Absolutely fantastic. Um, What do you mean vassals have a high opinion of me? Oh my god, that's insane. Opinion of Liege. Leader of the Rebellion, plus 500. Oh wow, we've scummed that up really nicely then, huh? Um, this is not where we want to be right now, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the... F I've, I've lost control of this campaign already, to be completely frank. Yeah, no, this is... You've, you've kind of... Okay, surrender to this guy. Sorry, let me take back control of things here. Things are very quickly falling apart. You know what? I'll take it. We got out of prison eventually, and we didn't even have to ransom ourselves out. He just decided to disfigure us. That's completely okay, because we are actually a really, really good character here. We've just got to get over the, uh, the, the quite significant chance of dying. Civilian injured minus two, stress minus one. Okay, then. Fine. Let's do it. So, we're back with a better character this time. We are a Jewish man, which has kind of fucked things, actually, because we must not be... We're not practicing Judaism yourself. Okay. Um, you have kind of fucked things there, haven't you? I'd like to convert my, to my religious faith now. Uh, what is he? Oh, Christ, he's Buddhist. Uh, convert to local religion. We can do that, right? Because we hold a holy site. Do we not? Do we not hold a, hold a, hold a, hold a holy site? Yes. Uh, how, excuse me. How do I convert to... Sorry, how do I how do I convert to... Ah, secretly convert to Sunny. We just need 250 points so we can go back. So it's not a big deal. Don't worry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we flip back... We could hang on. Surely we can just instantly fulfill that, right? So you need you need what? Four Jewish counselors with over ten skills. Well, all we would have to do is just spam the present invite noble or invite holy man or promote commander. They will spawn in your culture, your religion. Before we flip back to Sunny, we just use that over and over and over and over and over, and then put them on the council. That's all it would take. Uh, and then we could also invite any characters of our religion to court as well. Is this not like super easy to fulfill now? Uh. Right, so 17 Marshall, we can immediately knock that one off, so join me. Uh, intrigue, we can get that one done as well. Stewardship, we can get that one done. The only thing we're missing is diplomacy here, which, to be honest, would probably be the hardest one to get anyway, but <laughs> that's okay. Have any of them got 10 diplomacy? No. Not a problem. Join me. So that's three down. Um, so have we got, we've got Jewish Chancellor. It's okay. Oh, it's our previous character. Fuck. Actually, big brain play accidentally. There you go. Done. Done. Now what we need is the piety and we can just flip over. In fact, we don't even need to do that. We're not practicing Judaism yourself. We just go falsely confess faith. Done. Right? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Have a minimum of 10 the attribute related to their position. What are you talking about? When I practice in Judaism, have a, a council consist of openly Jewish people. They must be capable at their job with a minimum of 10 in the attribute related to their position. This guy... Jew Jewish, 22 diplomacy. Marshall, secretly Jewish. Oh, you might have just fucked everything there, Marshall. Um, all right, Steward, Jewish. Okay, so he's ticked off. Oh, fuck off. They, they also flipped. That's very annoying. Um, what if I just renounce secret faith? What do we we gain 250 with that? Oh my god, this actually might be a this might be a good idea. Bear with me here. So they've also joined us. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. I thought we got that with them for a second straight off the bat. Um, although, 
Oh, wait. Fucking twat. Okay, let's see if there are any other... Let's see if there are any other Jewish characters we can talk about. I honestly thought we'd instantly flat. I didn't realize the AI would also convert along with this or were secretly practicing all this time. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, F, G. Oh, hang on. There they were. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Join court. Yes. Oh, god damn it. Really? Ugh. Ruined it. Completely ruined it. All right. Back we go. Secretly converts our wife's faith and then personally adopts it. Right. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and demand religious conversion of you. No, what the fuck are you talking about? You were that a second ago, you weird man. All right, let's try this again. Round two. Okay, um, we've got a, we've, we do have a replacement marshal. We have a replacement steward as well. All right, let's see. So who are not my religion right now? This is this has gotten very convoluted. And I apologize if this is this is hard to follow. Um, right, so we're looking for a Jewish marshal. So you are the only potential candidate here. He's really not very good at all. Whatever. Steward, you are still openly Jewish. That's fine. So we're looking for a different spy master who's also Jewish. That guy's fine. Done. Right. That's the council done. Now we have to flip back to a religion. Can I just falsely confess? I was going to say, can we do it just over and over and over and over? That would be ridiculous. And then... Uh, let's kill our wife. Bear with me. Oh, this is so... I Just... just this is the worst way to play CK2. This is this is ridiculously min maxi to the extreme. Right, give me a new wife. Age. Uh, chill dude. Boom. Thank you. Welcome. Right. And then convert to Sunny. 250 piety. So it was piety that was our limiting factor there. Fine. And what do our council think of us? Uh, so I'm just making sure. Still Jewish? We all still Jewish here? We're all still Jewish? Very good. Okay. I need to flip religion. How, what's the fastest way to flip religion? We need piety. Um, can't get it easily. Um... We just need the... Oh, wait. We could have done it with prestige. Oh, but you have to be as well as well. Um, sure. So, a thousand prestige, we could have done it. Um, fine. Let's just grind up some piety then. Easy. Done. Ho, ho, ho. Too easy. All right. We can try it again and flip religion. I need non-zealous courses. Your religion will have a chance of joining you. I thought it was a chance. So, rather than being definite, that is. We could try it again and hope that they stick to their religion. It's only a chance. Or we go for the more safer option, which is use the county conversion instead. So secretly convert to Sunny, then embrace faith for 250 piety. Realistically, we just got to wait another year, do a Passover. That's 100 piety guaranteed, right? So let's just be patient this time rather than my usual gung ho -ness. A daughter. El, El Naz. El, I'm going to call you Elrond after my favorite elf. Elrond. That was, a, that was a typo. But you know what? If this is Elrond, I don't want to be El White. Okay, what are we going for then? Um, you can be trained in thrift, young daughter, because I'm pretty sure we can't play as you ever. Um, so in hindsight, etiquette would have made way more sense. Don't question it. Oh, hunting dog. Thank you. That's literally exactly what I was after right now. All right. We got... Hey, you got some more of that Passover? How frequently can we do that? I thought it was every year. I guess we'll wait. Oh, he wants me to join the Devil Worshipper Society. Boom. Absolutely not a question about it, my man. No! Fuck. There goes one of our council members. Oh, luckily. We've got another guy. Nothing to worry about. Hey, problem solved. All right. Uh, you got any more of them Passovers? How frequently is it you can do that? Because we've been... Oh, God. The last thing we want to do if we're trying to grind up piety is start doing a fucking mission for these fools. Um, is there anything I do to my prisoner to be pious? Like, like release him? Is that count as a merciful? Um, sacrifice him to Satan? That doesn't seem very pious at all. Just kick him out. Ten gold. Just release him. Let him go. Be the better man that we need to be. Uh, you, though. Mm, we could imprison him and kill him. No, 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 no. Let's not do anything yet. We're very close to ticking off another one of these bloody achievements. All we've got to do is just get, like, 50 more piety. That's it. Not even that. 23 more piety. Okay, so before I commit, just to, just confirm, Jewish... Uh, and I believe this won't flip them. Jewish. Uh, council. Jewish. I could probably just go back. Jewish. 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 Everybody's Jewish. Everybody's Jewish. And then we go convert to Sunny. And then we go personally adopt faith. Become Sunny. Achievement done. All right, that's another one down. What are we looking at next? Peace with our vassals. So how do we fulfill that one again? 
Um, be on terms with those who are openly worshipping another religion than your own. Secret religions are disregarded for this challenge. So the question is then, what is the easiest religion to play as that will make our vassals like us? What's going to be the least offensive religion to, to our vassals? Um, Passover gives us feasts, obviously. Um... So many dynasties grow decadent, which could actually be kind of a pain in the ass over time. Um, I'm not sure whether we should go back to Judaism or not, because I think that actually could work. Um, it could work quite well. Was this our previous character? Hang on. Who was our previous character again? Uh, oh, no, it was this guy, Mordecai. I wonder, how did he die? Murdered on the orders of him, who is also dead due to his injuries. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, okay. Uh, so we took those two off, definitely. Good terms with those vassals who are openly worshipping another religion from your own 12 vassals. It doesn't actually say what level the vassals have to be. So we might not even have to expand our borders too much if we make sure everything's nicely dished out. we got 10. 10 vassals. We hold a county ourselves that we could also give away. We could also just build a couple of buildings, you know. Um, I want to go back to Judaism then, preferably. So... We go back to Judaism, then we just land a bunch of Muslim characters. Hang on, hang on. We could go... Whoa, whoa. Full North Korea mode. Revoke absolutely everything. And then dish it all out again fresh to whoever of a different... It doesn't have to be all the same religion, does it not? Vassals who are openly worshipping another religion, they gain the opinion because we've just given them a load of land. We send them a gift. We, we try and be a good, benevolent ruler after having revoked everything. That will work. That will actually work. I hate that it will work, but it will work. Um, so this time around, let's see. What have we got? So this guy, for example, I'll get him into rebellion, chuck him in prison, lop his head off. Can we also go for... We need 100 piety to revoke titles, don't we? Where's all my piety gone? Although, saying that, we have done some messed up stuff already. Right, raise these guys. Let's go and stop this army. This time, we've got much, much bigger troop count. So, this should go a lot, lot smoother than the first time I tried to pull this off. We're going to revoke absolutely everything. Like I said, dish it out to people of a different religion. Gain all that opinion back. We're, we're problem solved. Lose the straight greedy. Don't forget, we are also part of the Devil Worshippers Society. So, we could use that to our advantage to... Kill, revoke, however we want to do this. Is that... Mongol... Ooh, I don't care about that. Get out of here. My wife, Hasty, seems to be going through a particularly hard... No, no. Don't be hasty, master wife. <clears throat> that was a bad impression. That was that was one of my worst ones I've ever done yet. Normally, I think I could do a pretty good tree beard, but that really does stand otherwise, doesn't it? I think you really need... You know, you need like the, the, key, the, the, the key tree beard phrase, which is... Tree... I am... Um, no, it's bad. I can't do it. I can't do it. Right, frail. Are we getting frail? Fuck off. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gone. We're moving on to bigger and better things. Speaking of which, first one is down. Revoke his title. Still can't because we <laughs> don't have enough piety. Okay. Um, could just execute him. Execute him. Inspire more of our vassals to go into rebellion. Fantastic stuff. Immediately burn it the fuck down. 32%. Uh, yeah, this this will work. This will work. It's a horrible idea. It's going to make us tyrant through and through. So we'll have to basically cleanse everybody in our realm. That thank you, tiny child. I'm sorry, but uh, get it secured. Did that? Oh, okay. We've got that one back. There's one down. Right, moving on. Uh, you get executed. Council say no. Council literally cannot stop us at this stage. And now everybody's got into rebellion. That's good. We can deal with them all in one fell swoop. The only problem is. Actually, we've got plenty of gold. Okay, we'll hire some mercenaries then. Bring it. <laughs> Show me what you've got. Please don't die of rabies. Please. Genuinely, before I played YouTube, or before I started YouTube, this is how I used to play CK2. Min max into the fucking extreme. Granted, because I didn't have to be a big fool on camera, I used to do it somewhat better. Uh, but this is how I used to play it. And honestly, it's one of the biggest driving reasons why I started the YouTube channel. Because I was like, this is a horrible way. I want to get the good stories out of it. Not just treat it as a mechanical simulator. But if we could pull this off in one video, that means we could get the next ruler challenge done as well. Right, let's pull these guys here. Uh, river crossings between Baghdad. What are we looking at here? Absolutely fucking everywhere. Um, yeah, absolutely everywhere. What, Kerma? This one. This one's fine. Right, let's go round team. Good work. And then kill them all. Let's make sure we got our best commanders here as well. Assuming we've got any people willing to die for us at all at this stage. 10 and 8. 4,800 versus 3,700. We should have the one fairly safely in the back. Yeah, that was a, that was an easy battle. Thank you. Chase him down. Finish him off. God, I miss decisive battles. On the plus side, though, it does give you much more chance to capture whoever's leading the rebellion. So, potentially much higher chance to end the war instantly. Layla? La 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 la. Uh, wow, we've got a lot of kids. Where the fuck did all these kids come from? 
I was like, L1, and now we've jumped three daughters later? What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't even notice them. They're just appearing. All right. This is a hell of a... This is a hell of a rebellion, huh? Armies are completely smashed. Oh, it's because we've got no war score, I guess? Fine. We'll deal with you next. Lose the rash. Fantastic. That's always what you want to hear. We don't want a rebellion and a rash. That's a losing scenario right there. I could not give less of a fuck. My suggested law pass. Nope. No, I did not suggest that. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, it's because he set special interest. No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. No, 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 no. I do not care about my liege going through hell. We have enough of our own issues to deal with. This is very hard difficulty also affect the AI because that was some bullshit right there. They're like 4,000 men and got crushed. That's not how that works. 24% decadence, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. That's fine. Um, God damn, what the hell have we done to this poor game? I'm so sorry, CKT. We've just beaten it over the head today. This is just, we just completely ripped it apart. Do not siege my capital. If you do that, we lose weak and we lose frail. Oh, nice. Because we've been training our dog. Made it for... All the losses brought about by the Lucifer zone and got absolutely nothing to show for those guys either. 99%. Come on. Are we capped a battle war score now, do you think? 100%. We are not. Goodbye, traitorous vassals. Get... What? No, 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 no. Ah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, get executed. Who else have I got in my prison? Uh, Subatai? I don't know who you are. I'm just going to execute you anyway because I can. Right, okay. Crushed to death by elephants? We didn't even know that dude was. 18 vassals. This is what I'm talking about right now. So now we're going to go through and revoke absolutely everything, basically. It would be a lot easier if I had revocation. <gasps> oh, the council don't like me. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Open? Spotted High Chieftain. Open elective. Oh, no. I don't even know how that works. Shit. Shit, man. And we've had, like... Fucking five daughters. This wife is uh, potentially on the chopping block. Let's go and marry some other wives here. She, she's pretty good. She's strong. Uh, just give me anybody, please. I just need a, I need a daughter. Uh, you'll do as well. Why not? And then let's also go for groom and heir. Because I need... Sorry, I need a son, not a daughter. What have we got? Ashari. Tradition, revelation, occasionalism. Christian piety, but members of the opposing M M Mutazilla. Am I saying that right? School will disprove. Research, but... Okay, let's go for that one then. Let's be traditional. Try and make the people like us. That's all that matters, really. Okay, drop these troops then. What's next on the list of things to do? Let's remove anybody who can potentially stand in our way. So now you get in prison. Not that we need to revoke titles anyway, because this is obviously working incredibly well. You get executed. I don't care if the council disapprove it. Who gives a fuck what they think? All right, more rebellions. And this is going to be this for a while. So we might we might do a little bit of uh, stealthy edit in a second. They're basically max morale anyway. Is there a better way to get there without taking that river crossing? Oh, no. No, no, no. This is this is rivers. This is this is an island. Fine. Sometimes you have to fight island life to, uh, to consolidate the realm. It is also, I should point out, 3 a.m. So if I'm a little bit delirious, you understand. I hope. You won't understand. I, I don't even understand what's going on. So that makes two of us, friends. We're in the same boat here, just watching as this game catches fire. 26%. Excellent news. 28%. God, I hate this. Please, Paradox. Can we talk about maybe... Put in decisive battles just in the base game by default. Because this, it should not take six battles to deal with an army half your size. My wife Aziza is pregnant with a son. Oh, thank you. I can't believe that she would give us such a fine gift. It actually was a son. Incredible. Thrift. A thrifty son. Right, give him a good guardian. Uh, What are we looking for here then? Shrewd. He's pretty good. Shrewd, patient, diligent. Um... We're looking for... I mean, this guy's good because I might also train him in thriftiness. Oh, we've got troops up there. What the hell? Okay. I should set a... Uh, let's, set, let's set a capital um, point of sort of coalescence. Otherwise, I'm going to keep forgetting about troops because apparently we've got some land up there as well. Ooh, don't do that. That's with madness. Complete madness. You see that? You cancel the assault on the same tick as you launch it and it gave, they gain back morale for reasons I don't quite understand. Tiny child, be gone. You know not what you do. I'm so sorry, tiny child. Okay, right, let's get this shit out of the way. How is that? I was going to say, how the hell have their garrisons returned so quickly? Good lord. Another son. Golam. Thrift. Uh, some, a student of Fiqh. Islamic law. Sounds like an awful lot of... Obviously, we'll do that. Yeah, no, we're not going to say no to that. Right, okay. Assign guardian. Let's go for uh, this guy again, because he's incredibly good. And then we've got two potentially all right sons coming through here. Thank you, tiny child. Much appreciated. 
and then execute. I love that your liege doesn't care. That I should point out. Minus 34 opinion. Why? Because we're a title Clement and we're slothful. What's that? You've assassinated almost every ruler in your land. No, we don't care about that. That's not relevant at all, is it? Raises. Oh, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that he might have raised his arms in rebellion? Okay. Not ra raised arms. Not raised his arms. Like he's frustrated or something. Dab for rebellion. 35%. It's a fantastic game of ping pong. We're at 63% battle war score. Uh, uh, oh, 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 20 prestige. Gone down the shitter. Piety recovering very quickly. Staggeringly, surprisingly. Somehow, we're a pious man. I'm not being your commander. Get the hell out of here with that weak shit. Um, we don't care about the council anymore. We might as well just put the best councillors on. Our wife is the best steward. Uh, you can join us there. And then we are, we'll have to do a full court cleanse. So we'll have to kick out all of our courtiers as well. But it's genuinely probably the easiest way to do this and eat okay uh execute who's next you again in prison i'm kind of hoping that eventually really to say on some of these rebellions i could be doing that it wouldn't help out a massive amount there still 50 oh i should have let it tick a little bit first shouldn't i should let should let some game time tick there because it would have recalculated that's okay so that one down wife aziza is pregnant again thank you wife 69 percent war score uh, honestly, it doesn't matter if he's got 600 heads. Once we've got through the garrison a couple of times, we're going to be okay. Another son. Fantastic news. Thrift for you as well. Let's chuck you at who's next on my list that's good. Uh, hmm, what do I want to train him in? Diplomacy might be quite interesting. Charitable Guardian is very good. And she's temperate, which is also very good. Fine. Go for it. As long as they've got over 12 in the skill that you're trying to train them in, that's basically all that will help. And their intervention traits are all that really matters at the end of the day as well. Go for it, Chief. 97%. Thank you for the surrender. Much appreciated, my friend. You know what's going to happen. Be gone. All right. How many fucking kids are there? Th three more. Three more. Mush? We are. We're trying. I'm trying to mush them as fast as I can, but they are proving to me a right pain in the ass here. My God. How was their garrisons replenished that quickly? Surrender? Oh, that's not a surrender at all. That's a council position. What do you want? Commander? No. I've said no. Uh, can I quit now so close to becoming a fucky? I, I don't know how you say that, but I'm going to say absolutely 100%. I'm sure we're very close. There we are. Thank you. Much appreciated. And then one more after that, and I think we're done. Can I imprison this kid sort of preemptively? Holy shit, it worked. Taniel? Tan this. Tan this, Taniel. In prison. Oh, it's working. Holy shit. Why did I not just do this before? But there's a lot of them. What the hell? Oh, one more. Okay, okay, okay. Be gone. <gasps> He's done it. Okay, boom. No one can threaten our, our rulership now. Uh, let's start swaying our leech. Send him a gift. $700 it is. Absolutely not. Uh, cool. Easy. Wow. Now we've got to cleanse the rest of our vassals as well because they will not forget so easily. Um, although doing that without the ability to revoke titles is going to be very, 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 very tricky. How long till we can try it again? Three more years. Okay. So what we need to do then is invite a bunch of people to our court who actually like us. Swap them out for just a bunch of loyalists. Doesn't matter if they are extremely top tier shit. Get revoked titles, get everything gone. Even the Republics, the minor little titles as well. This guy, we could just, you know, get rid of him immediately there. Uh, one of our... What is he holding? A musk. And be gone. Okay, right. That's what another one down. Uh, so, Icta government we can hold, right? So, anyone else we really can't fuck around with too much. Um, where's he based? He's also based here as well. What about imprisoning your friend there? Boom. And then, boom. Okay, that one doesn't matter too much. Let's kill him off, see who his successor is. It might be us. We'll see how it goes. <gasps> she killed my son. You will suffer... How many sons has she given us? She killed... Oh, wait. Hi, Chief. I, I killed my own son. I killed my... No, no, no. I didn't kill my son. She killed my other son... To make up for the fact I guess I killed her son. She probably wasn't too pleased about that. Fine. Alright. Done. Be gone. Nice. There we are. Okay. I can't believe how fucking easy this has been. This has been like staggeringly easy. Holy shit. And then we've just got to get rid of this kid. And then we're actually genuinely legitimately done. Um, Marshall, let's get you suppressing revolts here. Because I think that was the guy we were about to revoke from. Paradox, how, are we, how is it still 20, 2020 and we can do this shit? Still. Unbelievable. Ah, thank you. Much appreciated. And get Yote. And that is how you revoke every title in a province and click clear off two of the gold level achievements in uh, what has genuinely taken me 41 minutes. Uh, yeah. All right. I can deal with that. What's next then? 
So, we have to, again, clear out as many of the others as possible. Deal with the other icta related governments. Clear out as many of the feudal vassals as well. Republics we can't do much about with unless we can get revoked title, force them into rebellion. Same with temple holders. I'd love to go for a full purge. Then all we do is just dish out the titles of people not of our religion. And that's it. Gold. Done. So tomorrow, shitload more rebellions. Brute force the game right open. And then after that, we're back on the fantasy game. Thank you all for watching. What a horrible episode. But this is how not to play CK2. And like I said, this is exactly why I wanted to to start a channel to avoid shit like this thank you to vlad redeem paul somnus Siric 313 shay monkey slipping hips jonah waters sarabi justin wallace chesty skaz james shay huey longdong nostrus peyton denisar and everyone else at the insane tier levels on patreon for putting up with this absolute mess my god I, i've never played like this before so i thought it could be kind of interesting that in the ck2 challenge it would be interesting to min max it let's put it that way but i'm not going to make this a feature of any other series besides one that's intended to have challenge associated with it if that makes sense and a thank you as well goes out to trevor sanders wilson and Tef, ryan hooper munda difflin gothamo fat joe as you're under breeze organized confusion soycrates super 9089 tempe jackson p tiger rifter calron 24 justin Plock, ben taylor attila and everyone else at patreon as well now it's time to refresh fully my patreon lists so if you have recently signed up if you want to shout of course Give me a message. I'll put a message in the top of the video or something as well. I'll actually put something up on screen. So for those of you who missed it, I will hopefully have a reminder up there as well. See you all tomorrow.